everyone, I do not have an intro, but I have a brand new video for you. In this video, we are continuing our base game only zoo, which is a little bit of a challenge that I've given myself to build an entire zoo with only base game and use all the base game animals. So basically, a little bit of a um, love letter to the base game if you want. Um, it's a fairly small build and a fairly short video because we are building for the Nile monitor, which is a very small animal. I am aware that the enclosure that we are building today does not really um, fulfill their wishes. You know, like we couldn't have this in franchise, but I still think, sorry, that was my water bottle. I still think that it is a rather um, realistic build for the Nile monitor. I don't think they would have a huge enclosure in a real zoo. And I don't know, I really like how it turned out in the end. I think it looks very um, zoo-ish, if that makes sense. So uh, yeah, I, uh, while you're watching me build it, I kind of want to touch upon the last video, um, not the contents of it because that you can just watch it if you're interested in it. But in the last video I was talking, or I was having rather, a lot of technical difficulties that all of a sudden happened. Um, in the video I said my mic wasn't plugged in, which was true, but then I also realized that when I tried to re-record uh, the real-time part for it, because the mic wasn't plugged in, that all the footage came back um, extremely choppy, like unusable, um, and I was like, oh, okay, maybe that was just because, you know, I also had like Premiere and Photoshop and whatnot on in the background, like I always have, my computer can usually handle that, but I was like, Okay, whatever, uh, I'll just re-record it, re-recorded it, looked at it, um, still choppy. And I was like, okay, so I did some like test recordings with like a freshly restarted PC, no other program open, and it was still choppy. So like I said, usually my PC, PC could always handle uh, running multiple things and still recording and playing Planet Zoo, um, which it didn't do anymore. Uh, so I was like, okay, whatever, I'll just use the old, um, the first tour, like the first real-time part that I did. And then I realized, okay, uh, my PC does not, f like the, um, the external hard drive that all the footage is on, it, it kept saying like, it's not prepared yet. And I didn't know what that meant because I always have it plugged in, it always just works. Um, so I just couldn't get that to work for forever. I can now, I've, I have gotten it to work and it is a fairly old hard drive and I do have a new one, um, that I was just too lazy to set up so far, which I now set up because I was scared. Um, but, um, so that happened and I was like, oh my God, today technology just hates me. Um, and you know, still I had the issue of like, I can't record anything, everything is choppy. I tried different zoos. And by the way, when I say choppy, I mean that it looked like a slideshow of pictures. It does not look like a video. It just looks like I'm showing you, you know, single pictures I took of a zoo. Um, so obviously, you know, you can't really make a video out of that. So it was kind of stressed and kind of annoyed with it because it, it always worked and the most annoying part is like if the game while I played it would have been um, really really choppy and lagging and whatnot then I would have understand it or it would annoy me less because I would have known it is happening but because the game runs super smoothly no complaints at all and then I look back at it and everything's just broken. <laughs> Um, that really annoyed me because I know that for some of the builds that I did, I did lose some footage. Thankfully, um, uh, one of the things that I built in the last few days was, uh, something that I decided I wouldn't, wasn't going to use anyway. So, um, at least that's a little less annoying then, but I mean, long story short, uh, I found a way around it. I still don't know what caused it, but I had to play around with the settings of Planet Zoo. Um, I usually was always able to run it at a fairly high performance, like high graphic settings and whatnot. Um, so I kind of uh, put some of them down because uh, I noticed that if you, like you can look at the stats of what your computer is doing. And I saw that 
while I was running Planet Zoo, my GPU, so my graphic, uh, I don't know how to explain this, but the graphic something, it was almost always over 90% and I read somewhere that it shouldn't be. Uh, if you're trying to record something, it should be under 90. Um, so I was like, okay, I don't really know what that means, but I'll just try to get the GPU down. So I knew it was about graphics. So I lowered some of the graphics settings, which really annoys me because now the game looks different to me. And um, it's like, if if I'm playing it and I, nothing lags, why does the footage lag? That is, that, oh, that makes me so angry. But um, like I said, I've been able to get it back together uh, yesterday evening. I spent hours of trying to get the best settings that would still record. Um, and like I said, I still don't know what caused it because I didn't change any of my settings. I didn't change any component on my computer. I, you know, nothing should have caused this. So I think it's either the Windows update or the Planet Zoo update, which is obviously two things that I don't want to reverse. Uh, if it was an OBS thing, Yes, I would have tried to go back to an older version, but not Planet Zoo and not obviously not Windows. I'm not going to mess with that. Um, and so, yeah, I don't know. I mean, now I'm OK. I'm less stressed because I know that I can go back to recording. But just when I did the uh, the last video, I was so stressed about that because I mean, everything just seems to stop working that day. So, I mean, yeah, that kind of sounds like the Windows update, but whatever. Um, but anyway, I think there's been some nice comments so far that it wasn't too bad. So I'm really thankful for that. And um, I think like the remainder of this video, we're going to talk about this uh, little enclosure right here. I've been considering building a indoor, like entirely indoor thing for the Naya monitors. I've also been considering a reptile house, but I felt like um, having this smaller, um, very, very different to the Jaguar kind of thing there just kind of felt really realistic because real zoos, um, they don't always have a perfect order. Um, and for, for me, it was like, there's this huge, huge, probably expensive thing that they have for the Jaguar. So turning the corner and walking towards this very, very small thing, um, it just kind of felt like it made sense. Um, and you walk kind of towards the uh, the little diving area, although they don't deep dive, I don't think. Um, they don't require deep diving, but like I said, I this game does not consider the game requirements for the animals, but I don't think that the Nile Monitor is deep diving. Um, I mean, even if it did, it can't do it in this enclosure, but it has a little bit of a pool area with a glass wall so that you can watch it while it is swimming. And um, they love swimming. They're in the water all the time, which is which looks really cool. And I'm really happy that they do because with the um, the rest of the enclosure, they kind of blend in with the background because there's a lot of dead trees and stuff, and they kind of kind of look like the night monitor, but in the water because it is very blue, as you can see you can um, easily spot them, which is always fun at zoos when you can easily spot an animal. Um, and you can totally do this with the Nile monitors. And I reused the fence uh, right now, you can see that. I reused the fence that I did for the uh, Jaguar. Oh, not the Jaguar, the cheetah. <laughs> um, and I, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm always scared to build a new fence and this one still makes sense. It still fits the aesthetic uh, of this section of the zoo, but I am planning on making different fences uh, for this. I'm, I started building the next for this and I've not yet decided on if I will reuse this fence or make a new one, um, but it will be across from this path. So it'll be across the uh, the habitat of the Nile monitor. And um, yeah, I think this area is starting to come together. I really like this zoo and it's so funny to me that it doesn't feel restrictive at all to just build with the base game. There was a moment where I started to place um, aquatic rocks and quickly caught myself because I was like, no, 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 no. No, 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 these are the aquatic bags. 
packs, uh, aquatic rocks, you can't use them. Um, but that's actually the only thing. Um, and I usually like, when I start this save file, I immediately switch uh, all the menus to main game only, like you can do that. Um, or any other pack, you can also switch to that. But uh, in my case, I switch to only the main game uh, or base game. And um, then it, it doesn't even give me this temptation to use other things. I, I only see the base game stuff. And so far, that's been going great. <laughs> I, I have no complaints about that. Um, and I, I honestly don't think it would be as much of a challenge as I might have thought it would be. Uh, but I'm not complaining about something not being a challenge. Like, in the end, I do want the zoo to look good. Like, that's the main goal. So if the challenge isn't too challenging, I'm not mad about it. Uh, but, but yeah, uh, we built a little bit of a, a shade area for the guests there, which I really like. I'm not too... I wish it would have been a little bit... I don't want to say see-through, but a little bit more textured. So I might add some beans under it or something. But I really like it. Uh, I'm usually kind of shying away from making these shade structures because I often feel like they look too much like a little house. Um, but this one, I think, turned out fine. And um, yeah, I don't know if it would do anything in terms of stats of the guests. I think they do have a need for them. but. I mean, I've been playing Sandbox for so long, I'm far gone with taking care of the guests' needs, to be honest, so... Um, but I think we're almost at the end. Oh my god, I have to worry. Uh, to hurry. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this. Uh, I, I hope you have a great day. I hope you enjoyed the build. I hope to see you around another time. Thank you so much for your support so far. I really, really appreciate it. Bye! Oh, and there's cinematics. Now, bye! <laughs>